Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to look at creating something called an accordion, which is a way of displaying data in our um, design. So to do this, I'm going to switch to one of my pages here. I'm going to click on the products page because there's nothing on there at the moment. Now we're going to need to edit this page in something called Live Composer. So I can either click on this little green uh, button at the bottom, or if you can't see this for whatever reason, click on the edit next to the products page. Now, if you click on the edit, you'll see then a button which says Open Live Composer, providing you're on this page builder. You might see something like this, which it won't show anything. So if you do see something like this and there's nothing there, click on Page Builder and then Open in Live Composer. Now, if you don't see the green one, you'll have to click on the little Edit button. Okay, so the way this works is you're going to drop modules in here. So on the bottom here, we've got lots of different things and you can see one of these is accordion. Now, if you don't see this at the bottom, use the scroller to move things over and then you can click, drag and you can drop the accordion in. Now, an accordion works by having a heading and then text underneath. And we're going to add a few more of these accordions in. So I'm just going to add another three in. Now, what will happen is one will open and then the others will close. So we need to start editing this. So if I click in the top one here and then click in this one here, it says open in WP Editor. And I'm going to start by changing the text in here. Now, I've already typed my text up. So I'm just going to paste my text in here and my text is all about cupcakes. And I'm going to click on confirm. Now you'll notice my text has come in there and I've got a click to edit here, which will allow me to type something in. Or if I wanted to, I can type it in info. In bold, sorry. So that one's done. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to click in the next one here and we're going to delete that one. And we're going to say methods day cakes and again i'm going to click back in here we're going to click on edit content and again you can just type something in here click confirm and then we're going to do the bottom one there which is going to be easter cakes and we're going to click on it again click edit content and whoop there's nothing in there which is good so i am going to then paste the next thing in here now i've already typed this up so i've got it ready set to go you will need to type it in as you go um what happens if you want to get some images in here well you can do that what you need to do is click on edit content and then you will need to change this to visual so you can see the tab in the top corner click it to visual and then you're going to click on add media we're going to upload a file and then you need to save a file somewhere. So this is an Easter uh, cake that I've got. And I just drag the Easter cake in here and I click on the size and I'm gonna make it small to a thumbnail. And then I'm gonna click on insert post. And what it'll do is it'll just add it in there for me. Now, if I wanted to move this around, you can see I've got text wrapping options here. So if I click on this one as an example, I can move it there. If I click on that one, it moves it around. So you can make things bigger or smaller as well by shrinking it down using the drag handles on the side there. Now, once you're happy with your design, you can click on confirm. And then what we're going to do is click on confirm here as well. And then we are going to publish changes. What that's going to do is it's going to save your page and then we can close it. And then that will allow us then to view the page as if it was live. So you can see here the cupcakes open. So if I click on Mother's Day cakes, that changes. And if I click on Easter cakes, that changes there. And you can see we've got our little image that we've put in. So that's how you would make an accordion and that's how you put content into an accordion.